Hi guys, Scott here from Tapas Paranormal and we're back with day 3 of the Tapas Paranormal Christmas Advent Calendar. Yesterday we covered the White House, home of the President of the United States, and today we're going to cover the Ancient Ram Inn. The Ancient Ram Inn is a 12th century historic building located in Gloucestershire, England. The inn has had many owners since 1145 and was in the hands of the late John Humphreys until his passing in December 2017. Originally used to house masons and builders that were constructed in the neighbouring church, the inn went on to be the home of the first recorded vicar in 1154. The inn is reported to have been built on an ancient pagan burial ground, and is also believed to have been the scene of child sacrifices and devil worship in the past. The inn is also built on the crossing of two ley lines, which are locations that are believed to be high in spiritual energy. These lines trace all the way through the centre of Stonehenge, and some theorise that this is responsible for the amount of activity at the location. One of the spirits supposedly found at the inn is that of a witch who was reportedly burnt at the stake in the 16th century, during which period witch trials were common and punishable by death. John Humphreys found evidence of devil worship and ritualistic sacrifice within the inn, discovering the skeletal remains of children and broken daggers at the property. One of the more haunted rooms in the inn is known as the Bishop's Room. Found on the first floor of the house, the ghost of a monk is said to be seen in the area, and guests often fled the room when it was still a functioning B&B. It's also in this area where a guest was reportedly lifted off the floor and thrown across the room by an unseen presence. The most infamous spirit at the inn is that of an incubus and succubus, which reportedly haunt the room in which John Humphrey slept, and on several occasions had sexual interactions with him. In lore, an incubus is a male demon entity that engages in sexual activity with women, and the succubus is a female demonic entity that engages with men. The inn has been the location of a lot of paranormal investigation, with various popular groups and TV shows each documenting their investigations of the location, including Ghost Adventures and Most Haunted, as well as several foreign language paranormal shows. So, whether ley lines do in fact have an influence on the paranormal activity is unproven. However, this is a good example of this potentially being true, as the inn has a large amount of paranormal activity reported within. The fact that there's a link to Stonehenge and pagan sacrifice is all quite interesting. The sighting of a witch matches up to the time period that the witch was supposedly um, from. The monk is quite an interesting tale, and the incubus and succubus tale, again, I find very interesting, and with John Humphreys stating in a number of interviews uh, that he experienced it on regular occasions, that he felt it crawling upon him, and that sexual activity did in fact occur with the demon. The inn is still open to this day, so people can still go and investigate it, and hopefully in the future more evidence comes forward. But for now I've been Scott from Tapas Paranormal, this has been day three of the Tapas Paranormal Christmas Advent Calendar, and I'll see you tomorrow for day four.